<laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next? How could I possibly follow that? I'll go next. Ah, oh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Rawr. I am more poem. Keeping her hands down, she walks quite quickly over to the po podium. This poem's called... Actually, she glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. <laughs> okay, I had a silly... My head just did something weird where I thought that Yuri was saying that that was what her title of the poem was. I'm silly. That would be funny, though. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. That sounds exciting. Ah, I'm gonna get a drink before I start this. I'm gonna take a drink before I start this here. I guess I can bring the words up first, then. Mary's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Wait, I don't get to actually know what the words say. I want to know... When she's, why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. The world around her disappears. Transforming the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and, and turns in a structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. It's mostly a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. That was oddly poetic. Suddenly she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. Hi. It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Applause? You could just say that it was good, dude. And also, you're supposed to snap. I don't know how well that's coming across. It's not what we didn't. It's not that we didn't want to applaud her, but we're so caught, caught off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes, rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks down. It looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. That sounds as Sayori as it could possibly be. Ah. Ah ha ha. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her voice was made as a, her soft voice was made as a perfect match. Is it the poem isn't only like aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to do this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it, but hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole different meaning. Or a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach deeply into more... It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Please stop sucking at reading things out loud. Sayori finishes, and we all applaud. I did it. Good job, Sayori. Even he liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem really fits you nicely. <laughs> but I imagine... But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where the sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. It might need a little bit more force behind them depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. Hehehe. <laughs> 
next the next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have that much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now who's next? That leaves Natsuki left. Oh well, and me, technically. Don't make me go before him. <laughs> it's not like I can compare, compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let him lower everyone's- Oh, yikes, ouch. Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get this over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection to, of what to read, so I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up in front of the poem. Podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Yeah. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry I'm not as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence. That's something you'll improve on over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Ugh. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Okay. When she starts... Re when she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's a little unenthused, her poem has... A rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. It's probably the easiest kind to say out loud. <clears throat> Words feel like they bounce up and down and give a life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs him back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. What? Okay. Sorry for all the noise there. But when it's just my friends, it's embarrassing. That's weird. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case... You won't have to worry much about worry too much for the festival about the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you still all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find out some other poem to recite instead. <laughs> That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I just want to read The Raven. I am pleasantly surprised that you're putting effort into this club at all. Or putting all this effort into the for the club. It makes me really happy, figure skater pose. Uh, -huh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think it's the, that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. Excuse me. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. It's a festival for whatever this is actually... What is this, a club festival thing? Who puts that on a Monday? I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> You can win! You can win! You can do this! <laughs> Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to f find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. And if it's for the sake of this club, and impressing Monica... Wait, hold on a minute. Dude, make up your mind first. It's kind of weird to pursue both of them. You're obviously... Your poems have been called out to be patterned to impress Yuri, but suddenly, whatever. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. 
Don't make such a big deal out of it. Must be a little nice, though. Well, ah. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, you don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori... I got a weird little whatever from my pronunciation there. It's being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean, fumble, she fumbles with her words. So let's just say one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? Kind of putting me on the spot here. Okay, this must be what they mean by, uh. Alright, I'll play your game, but only because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to. Uh, okay, what one do I want my final decision to be? Because I'm going to pick the one that I just want to see the... Here. Because I actually quite like her sunny disposition, I would rather her be happy. So I'm going to choose this one first, and then I'm going to reload and choose that one. I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down. Isn't she so, be so beautiful and smart? It's nothing to do with what I just said. Aha, you admitted it. Jeez. It's not any, at any point in speculating about something that's never gonna happen. Well, maybe. But it's just, I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? What does that mean? Sayori. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. That was weird. I'm gonna reload that, though. See... You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh. But... She's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted to. Wanted it, so... Say, Yuri, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating on something that's never going to happen? Hmm. That was a little less weird than slightly less ominous with the hint there. But I want to respect her and keep her happy, too. And again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what might happen in that time. <laughs> okay. So this is a, probably a good place to stop, but I don't want to. Really. I'm just going to save over that one. Alright, let's see. Alright, Doki Doki is right here. Heartbeat is going to be up here eventually. Aha! I didn't even have to wait. I kind of wish I would have read the other two of the other pages. Bef I should have read the other words so I know what... Okay. Let's see here. Boop. Infinite. Contamination. Landscape. Kitty. Friends. Rainbow Sparkle. Contamination. No, I guess Monica's just never on the little side page there. Variants, together, unrequited, incapable, strawberry, clumsy, feather, vertigo, massacre. Alright, so I chose unrequited and massacre already. Let's go with vertigo. Nightgown, swimsuit, spinning, vacation, despise, secretive. Excitement, I already chose heaven sent, insight. Puppy, flower, fluffy, socks, fireworks, heaven sent. Go with fireworks. Poof, skipping, charm, raindrops, philosophy, essence. I feel like essence is one I've already chose before, too. 
I know I've chosen ambience before. Melancholy and entropy. Let's go with universe this time. Wait, I haven't been paying. I thought it looks like they're just moving kind of erratically here. Is it in response to? No, it seems to just be random. Okay. There was just... I've hovered over a word for a second, and it looked like they moved in sync with me almost selecting something. Time, sadness, rain, cloud, precious. Portrait, childhood. We'll go with portrait. A tone, extreme, kiss, unstable, sing, candy, sunset, anger, effulgence. I looked that up, and it means radiant or shiny, I do believe. Go with a tone. Dance, extraordinary, memories, hopeless, pure, broken, calm, fester, hope. Pure, extraordinary, memories, both memories. Oh, they do react when I actually choose them, though, it looks like. Unrestrained. I chose that already. Whatever, I know I've chosen vivid and summer determination, grief, depression, vitality, marriage, death. I don't think I've straight up chosen death yet, so comfort, bunny, dream, vibrant, cry, eternity, embrace, color, valentine, shame. Alright, vibrant, eternity. I think I've chosen both of those. Bunny. I do like bunnies. Valentine. Both bunny. Oh, I got one from her. Sweet and fallible. I chose infallible last time. Bouncy cage. Uncontrollable. <laughs> I like that uncontrollable and cage are in the same, like. Special whisper incongruent pain bubbles bubbles again just so you guys just so my fellow club mates get the point bubbles they're awesome Flea pleasure games music rose unending beauty disoriented empty Goes empty Judgment vivacious flying vanilla analysis nibble Nibble was one I liked last time, or the, the last recording session, that is. But, I'm gonna choose Vivacious this time. Marshmallow, Tenacious, Scars, Playground, Meager, Graveyard, Graveyard, Email, Lucky, Sensation, Scars. I feel like if Graveyard showed up already, it's one I chose. But, I'm gonna choose Scars? Pink, anime, jumpy, clouds, misery, fantasy, bliss, ocean, adventure, family. We're gonna go with ocean. Aw oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked into repracticing piano again. So is there not a way to appeal to Monica? Is she stuck being like tutorial person? Is she gonna be the first one to get killed? That'll upset me a little bit. I like her. Are you practicing the piano again? Yeah. No one actually tell me the answer to that, by the way. Please. Ha ha ha. Must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and playing the piano, it fills her heart with determination. <sighs> oh, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. Remember, the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're willing to help out for the festival, too. Man, my recording session is gonna be like two hours. It's gonna take forever for Audacity to do its thing. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. You're excited suddenly? It's gonna be great. And? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part. With a whole day of school where we get to play and eat and all kinds of delicious food. 
Alright, that's fair. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do, we, do they usually have fried squid? And suddenly I'm having flashbacks to Lone Survivor. Fried squid stick. I'm a man from the West, so that's not so appealing. Well, the West is in, like, America. Not a very Eastern food type of person. Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon I don't know what... Mon is in Monster and Ika is in something else? Yeah? This is a manga thing? It's not how you say my name at all. Monica. What's that like? Also that makes also that joke makes no sense in translation. So I am so I'm supposed to be lost because they're assuming I don't know Japanese. 